What's up, guys? We got uh, another uh, UFC Fight Night card: Johnson versus Bader. I'm gonna be doing a prediction video on the UFC Fight Pass prelim. So these three fights right here. So let's talk about the first fight. And for my prediction for this fight, well, first let's talk about the fighters. We got Tony Martin versus uh, Felipe Felipe Oliveri. So uh, Martin is from USA and uh, Felipe is from uh, Brazil. Uh, Martin is more like a grappler or a jiu-jitsu guy with you know good submission skills as you can see by his record while uh, Oliveri here prefer, uh, prefers uh, his boxing as you can see by his knockout percentage but he also is uh, good on the ground has some decent jiu-jitsu but he's uh, he's making his debut on the UFC while Martin's already fought in the UFC a couple times and I think his UFC record is a one in three you know he's lost three fights but and he's coming off a loss right now but he's fought against some really uh, decent fighters I think his first fight was against a, a really good Russian fighter second fight was against uh, I, I forgot who he was against for a second fight but it was also like another you know decent fighter and he, he beat some some Brazilian guy and then I think he lost to a Brazilian guy right after that one but yeah this guy is you know pretty decent so I'd say that Martin has a better chance than Oliveri because he has more UFC experience. He's younger. He's also fought more recently. Uh, Felipe here hasn't fought, uh, you know, as often. He was actually yeah he hasn't fought for like a while. I think for like a year or two, until just like recently he fought. But you know he took like a long layoff before that before his last fight. So you know this guy's I don't even know why he got signed to the UFC. I mean he just like fought once and then they just put him in the UFC all of a sudden. So that's kind of weird. I don't know if they want to get rid of Martin or something or, you know, like they want to cut him after this fight or something like that. But, yeah, I really think uh, Martin will probably win this fight, though, with his uh, jiu-jitsu, with his grappling and ground game. I think he'll probably uh, take a, take down uh, Felipe and, yeah, just keep it on the ground. He's probably not going to finish him, but if he does, it's, it's obviously going to be by submission. As you can see right here by the stats, M Martin has, you know, no power in his hands or his legs apparently he has no uh, knockouts in his record so uh, I would give uh, my prediction uh, Martin by decision so that's gonna be my pick guys for the next fight here we got uh, Damon Jackson versus uh, Levon Makashvili now to be honest I don't know much about both of these guys but I do know uh, Jackson's just really not that good but uh, Levon right here seems to be like a pretty decent fighter pretty uh, well rounded and like you know, I could tell by the odds also that this guy is the favorite. So I'm gonna have to go with uh, Levon here. I don't really know much too much about these guys, so I mean, I don't really know much to say about this fight. But for my prediction, it's gonna be a uh, Levon right here. I'm pretty sure most people would pick him also compared to, uh, to compared to Jackson. So that's gonna be my pick, guys. Now for the final fight, uh, Fight Pass prelims a uh, featured fight right here. We got. Matt Dwyer against uh, Randy Brown. Randy Brown is making his UFC debut, undefeated fighter. His country is uh, Jamaica, while well, uh, Dwyer's from Canada. Now Dwyer's already uh, been in the UFC, and as you can see, he has a lot of knockouts. But uh, he's been losing right now recently. So you know, Dwyer, he's you know he's a decent fighter. You know, good you know decent first fight for uh, Brown in the UFC, but I mean, he has good reach. Also, he's also pretty big for the for the division. But I don't think he's gonna be able to win this fight, guys. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Uh, cause uh, Randy Brown is making his debut. He's also he's been he's been uh, promoted by the UFC right now recently because they found him in the Looking for a Fight show, which is Dana White's new show. And if it goes to the decision, I think they're obviously just gonna pick up Randy Brown here. I think they're gonna rob Dwyer if he actually does get the better of of Brown. But I really think Brown's gonna be able to finish this fight, guys. This guy has. You know he he hasn't had a fight that went distance. He's been finishing guys. He's also longer than Dwyer, even though he's a little bit shorter. He's six foot two, I think, compared to Dwyer being six foot four. And Brown has a four inch reach advantage, and that's uh, something Dwyer has never faced. He's never faced anybody that that has the same reach or is also tall like him. So, or actually not even the same reach. He has more reach than him. So you know Dwyer is not going to be he's not going to be able to stay on the outside against Brown. I really think Brown's gonna be able to also hit him very easily. Apparently, uh, Dwyer, you know, this just doesn't have much head movement. It seems like he gets easily hit. He does have a decent chin, but you know, I don't think he's gonna be able to hold up against Brown's power. 
Vern has good knockout power. I mean, always wins her by finishes. This guy's a finisher. I don't. I really doubt this goes the distance. So, for my prediction, guys, um, I'm gonna go for Brown by uh, TKO second round. And yeah, that's all. Uh, uh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> that's all I really got to say about these fights, guys. I got uh, for the first fight, I got Martin, which is the favorite. I got uh, Levon, which is also the favorite, and then I got Brown, which is also a favorite. And out of, out of all these three uh, underdogs, I would pick uh, Dwyer though. I was almost thinking about picking Dwyer, but I mean, he's just so vulnerable vulnerable to getting hit. And since Brown's being promoted by the UFC, just you know, he's just one of these new guys. He's that has potential to be, you know, a big star. So I, I really don't think it's gonna go distance anyway. But if it does, they're gonna give it a Brown anyway. I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna have to not pick Brown, uh, Dwyer on this one. But if you guys, you know, wanna place bets, I would pick the Dwyer as an underdog. If you, well, for these three fights anyway, I wouldn't pick Oliveri and I wouldn't pick Jackson for underdog picks. But if you want an underdog pick, I'd pick a uh, Dwyer though. All right, guys, that's all I really gotta say about these. Uh, UFC Fight Pass prelims uh, predictions. I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, two more videos now. One on the uh, Fox, uh, Fox Sports One prelims, and then obviously the the main card. So stay tuned, guys. Two more videos coming up, and yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video.